degree to the HP uh, with the vertical plane. So that is the uh, problem of hexagon hexagonal plate. Let us move one more problem of the uh, inclined plane. Let us see in depth one more problem of a square plate. So here a square plate ABCD of 50 mm side it is resting on its corner A in the HP. So only one corner is touching the horizontal plane and its diagonal AC is inclined 30 degree to the HP and the diagonal BD inclined at 45 degree to the vertical plane and it remains parallel to the horizontal plane draw its projection. So in our problem what is the data given is the square plate of a side 50 mm and its position to the uh, reference plane with the help of with the reference of diagonal. So diagonal AC is inclined 30 degree to the HP and the diagonal BD is inclined 45 degree to the VP that is vertical plane. So let us see how to draw let us draw first the reference line X and Y. So what will be our first step we need to remember that if we keep AC parallel to the HP and BD perpendicular to the VP considering the inclination of AC as inclination of the plane. So we need to draw first the inclination of 45 degree we need to consider as a because as we know that the top view as the inclination of VP that is vertical plane can be visible only in top view we need to obtain first 45 degree line with the reference of XY to show the inclination of vertical plane. Let us draw a square plate by drawing any method that is known to uh, here we used a quadrant of a circle method. So here is the first position we need to give the name subsequently as we can see AC remains parallel to the XY line. So here AC line AC will remain parallel to the HP. So here the first step is complete by joining and now drawing by joining by extending the projection of the first step we can obtain the front view a dash b dash d dash and c dash by drawing as the square line is remain on the plane that means on x y line we need to highlight one more thing that b and d will give us the common point as it is square. So B dash D dash will remain on the same point. On the second step is inclination 30 degree to HP. So its front view as we can see in the second step the inclined edge will be visible in front view so 30 degree to the VP. So now we are obtaining the square plate by keeping one corner that is a dash on the line XY that is horizontal plane and we incline that plane 30 degree. So if we get the same distance as d dash 
or say a dash b dash and if we obtain one arc by keeping the point of compass on a dash we can obtain b dash and d dash and by extending the projection from every point we can obtain the top view in the second point as known to us if we extend this projection it will give us the second step top view that is 30 degree to hp now the line bd which is inclined which is given inclined 45 degree to the vertical plane so we need to draw as we know that inclination of vp will be visible in top view so we have to draw this line 45 degree in top view that means below the xy line so if we produce this shape 45 degree if we take this distance b1 d1 and we can produce the same length b1 d1 on the inclined 45 degree line we can obtain this shape so we are using the dimension of second step to produce the inclination or say third step and we obtain the top view a1 b1 c1 d1 and finally if we project a projection from the top view and projection from the second step front view the intersecting point will generate the final front view which is inclined to both horizontal as well as vertical plane and it will be it will give us this shape a1 b1 c1 d1 desk and which is the final view so here we are completing the inclination in both plane to the both plane let us take the one more example and we are this time given as a rhombus rhombus is a plate which is having diagonal of 120 5 mm so the diagonal measurement is given as 125 mm and 50 mm longer so the smaller diameter we know the rhombus has one small diagonal and one major diagonal so here we are given the reference of small diagonal which is parallel to both the principal planes while the other is inclined 30 degree to horizontal plane so in the first step we need to consider that the ac will be parallel to the hp and bd which is perpendicular to the vp considering the inclination of ac as inclination of the plane similar like last problem we are keeping ac so let us draw a rhombus first in top view as we can see the top view and the line is on the horizontal plane so let us say a b c d and the diagonal a c is parallel to the horizontal plane and by giving the name a dash b dash c dash and here are the dimensions that we are that is given 125 a c diagonal and second diagonal b d as a 50 mm so the inclined ac at 30 degree to the horizontal plane so let us draw a line 30 degree and give us a name as ac by taking the same dimension 
from the first step top view so our ac will makes the 30 degree width xy line and by taking the projection from the b dash a dash and uh, from the top view by intersecting the projection of the front view in the second step and the top view of the first step we obtain the reduced rhombus so in second step we finalize with the inclined ac at 30 degree and that will give us a reduced shape of rhombus and in third step it is mentioned is a 30 degree so here the rhombus we need to take bd as a parallel so in third step the rhombus bd is given as a parallel so that is the final step of the rhombus that is inclined to the both horizontal as well as vertical plane so we learned up till now that how to draw an inclined shape so initial position of that planes are very important if we know the initial position we need to draw that which line or with what reference the line is making an angle with the horizontal or vertical plane so in the second step we always draw the line with reference to the horizontal plane and on the next move we know the inclination or the condition with the reference to vertical plane and by drawing that final view we can obtain the plane or say projection of the plane which is inclined to the horizontal as well as vertical plane one more thing we need to make clear that the front view notations is always should be given as a desk and the top view notations is given as without dash uh, one more problem if we can move further a rectangular hexagon of 40 mm side has a corner in hp so this time a rectangular a uh, regular hexagon uh, hexagon is given of 40 mm side so it's one of its surface is inclined 45 degree to the horizontal plane and top view of that diagonal through the corner with which is in the hp and the same surface is making an angle of 60 degree with reference to vertical plane so let us see a hexagon plane by drawing first reference line x y in the first position the plane is parallel to h p we know that if we the plane is parallel to h p the true shape will be visible in the top view so we need to draw the true shape now we know that it is going to inclined so let us take uh, a b c d e f in a manner that a and d will makes the parallel to the horizontal plane and by obtaining by extending the projection from a b c d e and f we can obtain the front view a dash b dash up to f dash so our first step is as we know the front view will give us the parallel uh, front view and that will give us only line and that is lying in the horizontal plane that's that means the line a dash d dash is on the x y in the second step the plane is inclined to hp at 45 degree and perpendicular to the vp it means the plane we need to draw the same shape at 45 degree so 
by drawing the line 45 degree to the xy line and by intersecting or by taking a distance as a dash b dash a dash e dash we can obtain the points a dash b dash a dash e dash and same way the same points b dash f dash e dash and c dash on the inclined line so as we know by joining the projection from the point to point let us say a uh, front view of the second step and top view of the first step we can obtain the reduced size of hexagon and that is our completion of our second stage also observe the reduction of the area of the plane because of that inclination of 45 degree so by joining this projection we can obtain a1 b1 c1 d1 e1 and f1 notation as we can give in the second stage and top view of the third uh, as we know that that plane is making 60 degree with vp we need to draw first top view because the inclination of the vp can be visible in the top view so by generating the same figure with the reference of this diagonal a and d so also observe the difference in this problem that we cannot use the same uh, dimension because it's given through the reference a d so this time the line the angle will be the 60 degree but with the reference to the diagonal a1 d1 and by drawing that projection and joining the projection from the front view of second step we can obtain the final step by joining all the points the hexagonal plate which is inclined 